I bring to you the Anthony Annual uh, Church Report. Our Anthony Church is located almost at the furthest eastern outskirts of town there, so we don't get a lot of drive-by exposure. But we are located right across the street from some senior living apartments, and then about three blocks away is the senior care home facility. And it's been exciting in the last couple of years to see new people coming from both the apartments and the care home. Mary Ann happens to be one of those people coming from the apartments. Her story is amazing. She grew up in Germany. In fact, during the midst of World War II and uh, her family witnessed a lot of tragedy and loss and uh, she experienced that. Following the war though, as a young woman, she made her way to America, got married and settled in Oklahoma and then eventually settled in Anthony. Being in her 80s now, a widow for many years uh, dealing with cancer has made her a right candidate uh, to think about her future and to think about spiritual things. Upon the invitation of folks at the Anthony Church, she started attending church. She found the people to be loving and she continued to attend our services and uh, God moved upon her and just in the last couple of months, she made a commitment to the Lord. It's been a real joy to see her grow in her faith and uh, to think that God still saves people in their 80s and uh, we're just excited here at the Anthony Church. Thank you. Hi, I'm Josh White. I'm the pastor at uh, Ark City, serving as interim pastor. Um, been there for the past year. Um, starting in May of this year, um, our pastor left us and I had a local license, so I took over the job of that. And, uh, I hit the ground running. I actually was a district license candidate anyway, so I hit the ground running. We started off pretty quick. We had we have a good relationship with our police department and um, helped out with their dare camp. Um, we're trying to continue to build that relationship. We even did Thanksgiving for them. Our church also celebrated our 100th anniversary this past year, and we had a celebration for that. But our biggest victory probably in the past year has been with our kids. That's been our big focus. Um, building up that program. We've always been kind of a haven for foster kids and, and adopted kids, and so we're continuing that. We have a, couple, a new family that's kind of involved with that. And so that's our big primary goal right now, that along with outreach, we're starting the organic outreach program now. Um, but it's always been a thing that we've been working on, and we continue to plan to do that over the next years. Dr. Chombo, Dr. Bond, delegates and friends of the District Assembly here in Kansas. I bring to you my 18th report for the good people in Augusta. Um, we have been praying Luke chapter 10 verse 2 for a long time now. Dr. Bond um, asked us to do this and to pray the harvest is plentiful but the workers are few. Ask the Lord of the harvest to send out workers. We've been praying that for quite a while and uh, We've been needing children's workers, and this year, just this year, we've had two single ladies come to our church, and um, they're both Nazarenes, and uh, they joined our church, and they have taken over our children's program. They have named it, they're running with it, and we are thankful and blessed by God for them, and we're just going to move forward now in the work of God's kingdom, working with the children in Augusta. Respectfully submitted, Reverend John Bassett. Well, I bring to you the church report from the Wellington Nazarene Church. About two years ago, God led Dennis and Andrea and their daughter Gemma to our church, kind of in the midst of the COVID, and they committed their lives back to the Lord after searching for a church home. Within the next six months, Andrea was able to get her parents to come, uh, Scott and Diana. And it wasn't long until they started coming. And in fact, they recommitted their lives to the Lord. And uh, some of their other adult children came, uh, have come since that time. Jesse and Bradley live right next to Scott and Diana. Jesse has little church background. Bradley has some. But about eight months ago, Jesse developed a really serious heart condition. In fact, he needed surgery for it. And in fact, beyond that, the doctor said there is a somewhat of a chance you won't make it through the surgery. Scott and Diana assured them that our church would be praying for them, and so we did that. Scott came through the surgery and kind of considered it a, a miracle from God. 
and thank the church. And when he came out, he said, Bradley, we're going to church from now on. And they came to church and uh, within a couple of months, Jesse and Briley and their son Justice, all three give their, gave their lives to the Lord. And beyond that, in a little while, all three were baptized. All three went through the church uh, basic Bible study courses for new Christians. And now they are in the midst of membership classes. Watching the transformation in their lives has been a real joy for our church. And we are excited for the future. And we just simply want to add more stories of transformed lives to our church. Greetings from Winfield, where God has not only called us, but he has been faithful to provide as well. We saw that in a lot of different ways. Uh, back at the beginning of the church year, we had our big food distribution event where 40,000 pounds of fresh produce and meat and dairy uh, were distributed all throughout our community. And we were able to bless a lot of people that way. A blessing to us was members of the community who just wanted to help out were not a part of our church came and volunteered with us and what a blessing that was. We also uh, spent uh, the year remodeling and, and uh, breathing new life into a ministry center in nearby Dexter, Kansas. We were excited to see, we just had an open house and a dedication service. We we're excited to see how churches and pastors and church boards and youth groups and families can use this space for rest and re-energizing of their souls in a time to get away and just enjoy God's peace in nature. We also uh, reached out through our care portal and through protective homes where we are able to provide safe places for kids who are removed from their homes because of unsafe or unfit conditions. And we're adding to that this year with a new uh, clothing ministry given to us by a church that uh, was not going to survive the pandemic and they closed their doors, but they wanted to see God's work continue in clothing um, uh, those in need. And they gave that ministry over to us, including the building, and we are getting to see and breathe new life into that and see God work there as well. Where we are obedient, God provides, and we've seen that all year long. Respectfully submitted, Pastor Billy Byler, Winfield, First Church of the Nazarene.